it is monday october 30th around 4 p.m eastern time also market time let's take a look at the uh, all right so what did i say i said wait for the bounce guys and there it is we got a bounce finally right because the thing is when you're selling this hard right there are going to be a time when people are going to start covering, right? Or people are going to be going long because it makes sense, right? We're pretty much at the bottom of the range. And if you're going to take a risk to go long, I mean, this is pretty much the best place to go long, right? If you really want to go long, right? Ideally, you want to see this uh, like actually base here and then go up to go long. But if you really want to counter trend, you want to really pop, like catch that bottom, right? I mean, this is the... Uh, <laughs> You can do it on a on a day like that, right? Like pretty much, you gotta wait pretty much for yesterday to go by. I mean Friday, and then today was gonna be the pop. Like I said, I thought Friday was gonna be the pop because of the premium, but that premium got rolled over, and actually, we pretty much just covered, right? Like a lot of the volume that we had here was like puts covering and. Pretty much after the weekend passed by, all the market makers are going to be slamming. Well, since they were hedged short, they're going to have to cover, so they have to go long. So that's pretty much why we had this happen. And you have to wait for this to happen before you go short. Like if you really want to go short, you can short off, off the top of this cloud thing. So let's go into the uh, intraday and I'll explain that a little bit. So this is a two minute chart, right? So on Friday, we had the mega sell off, right? Which is... Which, it, which basically was t uh, some type of a fake out. Like, ideally, we were going to see a pop. It was going to look like this, right? Ideally, Friday should have looked like that, right? But because we had so many puts, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we're super uh, bearish on Friday. So pretty much we get a gap up, right, overnight. So this is Sunday, right? And then... Uh, over the weekend, we get a gap up, small one, right? And then Europe starts buying it up. Pre-market, we push. And then we got to the neutralized zone. And that's where pretty much you're going to expect some type of a direction change there, right? Just because everybody's bearish. And when, they, when the price gets here, this is the neutralized zone. So we are bearish, but we're neutralizing around 40, 41.50, right? So now, once we hit this spot, we got sold off and then pure chop fest. And then finally, we got this po a push. Now, this is technically bullish, right? Because we just broke out of this area. Now, we have to stay here for a day, right? For it to be bullish. But right now, we're pretty much in a neutralized zone. And I'm not, e I'm, I'm not bearish or bullish right now. We just have to see what happens. I think we're going to get a pop tomorrow. And then we're going to sell off. But till I see something like that and it's clean, there's no trades here. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it as that. And... Uh, yeah, you do whatever you need to do with this information, but I would just stay neutral and uh, wait for the pretty much the volatility to come in and uh, see which way it goes, right? I think we can go either way from here. It's pretty much a 50-50 trade. If you're trading here, you have no edge. So for that reason, I'm just going to, yeah, leave it here. And uh, I hope you guys did well today. We had a lot of volatility. And if you didn't, well, tomorrow is another day.